Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the roller coaster ride of the minor prophet Micah. We dealt with the judgment against human sins, and we meditated upon the hope for restoration. And we had done with a part of forgiveness, as promised, as God promised to His children. In Micah chapter seventeen, we see God's forgiveness reassured. Let's meditate upon the thought of rather the promise of forgiveness by God. Micah chapter seventeen verses eighteen reads this way: Where is another God like you, who pardons the guilt of the remnant, overlooking the sin of his special people? As we believe in Christ, we are the chosen elect; we are the special people of God. You will not stay angry with your people forever. because you delight in showing unfailing love you are a compassionate god once again you will have compassion on us you will trample our sins under your feet and throw them into the depth depths of the ocean you will show us your faithfulness you will show us your unfailing love as you promised to our ancestors abraham and jacob long ago psalm 32 praises god for his forgiveness for his unfailing love oh what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven whose sin is put out of sight Yes, what joy for those who record the Lord as whose record the Lord has cleansed of guilt. What joy for those whose record the Lord has cleansed of guilt, whose lives are lived in a complete honesty. Finally I confess all my sins to you and stop to hide my guilt O Lord I said to myself I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgive me all my guilt is gone forever it has lost its existence if we confess our sins acknowledging our sins acknowledging our guilt and our responsibility god can be counted on to forgive us those whose love those whose lives have been changed by the power of forgiveness must respond by holding out the hand of a new beginning to anyone towards others who have sinned against them we must be people who have learned to freely forgive as the lord forgives us our sins we shall be ready it's our divine responsibility to forgive those who sinned against us those whose lives have been changed by the power of forgiveness if this is the command of god those whose lives have been changed by the power of forgiveness must respond by holding out the hand of a new beginning to anyone who have who has sinned against them we must be people who have learned to freely forgive Mika closes his prophecy, stressing 
highlighting the thought of forgiveness the promise of forgiveness of god and that leads to the hope of rebuilding us gathering us as his special people as his chosen children as we believe in the lord jesus christ as our personal savior let us pray heavenly loving father we stick to thy promise and we stick to thy command we praise your promise of forgiveness strengthen us in thy spirit that we shall forgive those who sin against us we must hold out our hand to others for the new beginning strengthen us that we shall freely forgive others as you freely forgive us of our sins you are a god who delight in forgiving your special people us you delight in forgiving us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us or oh, bless all the viewers who with along with me come in one accord and in one love and in one hope in the lord and savior jesus christ we hope for your forgiveness cleanse us blot out our sins and fulfill the heart's desires of your children father may our prayer supplications be acceptable in thy sight bless this time of prayer bless this time of meditation upon thy word in jesus precious name we ask amen amen thanks for being with me bye bye for now see you next with the next minor prophet thanks once again